Hey guys, welcome back. This video is about leaf art one osteotomy. In leaf art osteotomy, we remove whole maxilla, whereas we saw in Wunder's and Wasman's techniques that is anterior segmental maxillary osteotomy, where we just removed the anterior segment of maxilla. But here in leaf art one, we remove entire maxilla. Hence, leaf art one osteotomy is also called as total maxillary osteotomy. You must write this if you get a leaky on this. So this was earlier used to correct open bite, but now the indications are vertical maxillary excess. It is used to treat maxillary excess in anterior posterior direction, vertical and even transverse direction. And also used to treat maxillary deficiency, anterior posterior maxillary deficiency that is maxillary hypoplasia and even correct facial asymmetries. You must draw all the diagrams the way I have and write your answer in flow chart form. This technique is carried out under general anesthesia and even lidocaine local infiltration is done in the, given in the mucosal tissue of the upper lip. So horizontal incision is given in the maxillary vestibule starting from second molar on one side till the second molar on the other side. Subperiosteal dissection is then carried out with the help of elevator and this flap is elevated so as to expose the nasal flow, piriform aperture, lateral wall of maxilla, zygomatic arrest and pterygomaxillary junction. Osteotomy cuts are then given extending from lateral wall of piriform aperture, continued till the lateral wall of maxilla and behind maxillary tuberosity, continued till the pterygomaxillary junction. Let us look at the osteotomy cuts again. So first osteotomy cut is extended from lateral wall of piriform aperture. Then a vertical step is given that is below osteotomy. The cut is given along the lateral wall of maxilla and then continued behind tuberosity till the pterygomaxillary junction. Here we remove whole of maxilla hence we'll take the cut till the pterygomaxillary junction. After giving this osteotomy cuts, the nasoseptal osteotomy is used to separate nasal septum from maxilla. After this separation, pterygomaxillary disjunction is carried out with the help of sharp curved osteotome that is malleted. And thus, this maxilla is separated from pterygomaxillary uh, or pterygoid plates. Then, maxilla is down fractured by Give, applying finger pressure that is inferior pressure or downward finger pressure is applied so as to down fracture it and it separates. Thus maxilla is separated and repositioned. It is brought into occlusion with the help of splints and intermaxillary fixation is done. The stabilization is achieved by interosseous wiring or mini plates fixation is done at nasal and zygomatic or maxillary buttresses. Okay, it's my prerogative to make things simpler for my subscribers. I try to make it simpler, but let us summarize this technique in the uh, with the help of this flowchart. Even if you draw this flowchart, that is sufficient, but you must draw diagrams because just like anatomy, it is important to use illustrations for oral surgery. The procedure is carried out in general anesthesia and local anesthesia infiltration is used in the mucosa. Then horizontal incision is given in the maxillary vestibule starting from one maxillary second molar till the other. Then subperiosteal dissection is done, flap elevation is done so as to expose nasal wall, lateral wall of maxilla, pterygomaxillary junction is exposed because we, are, we want to remove maxilla from this junction and reposition it. Then osteotomy cuts are given, extending from the lateral wall of piriform aperture till the lateral wall of maxilla, then going behind maxillary tuberosity and till the pterygomaxillary junction. Then nasoseptal osteotome is used to separate septum from maxilla. Pterygomaxillary disjunction is carried out using sharp curved osteotome. Maxilla is then down fractured with finger pressure. It is brought in occlusion with the help of splints. Intermaxillary fixation is carried out and mini plate fixation is done on the buttresses. I hope I made this simpler for you guys. I'll continue making more oral surgery notes. Also, let me know in the comment section below the topics you want me to make videos on. Do subscribe my channel for more such notes. And thank you for watching and listening patiently.